This club has transformed our community. They've got 1,500 equality departments, and next minute they say you can't wear blue denim. I've had a hair transplant because my hair was famous in, in the departure lounge. So today I am here at Dorking Wanderers FC to meet their manager, Mark White. He's a man of many talents. He's not just the manager. He's also the youngest chef to have three Michelin stars. That's no, crazy, Chloe. What? It's not Marco Pierre White, the chef. It's Mark White, the Dorking chairman, manager and owner. You're kidding me. Why am I carrying in an apron and a whisk then? Now I have the correct information on. I'm here at Dorking Wanderers FC to spend the day with them and meet their charismatic manager, Mark White, who is known for his fruity touchline rants. Um, it's an amazing story this club has. They were formed about 23, 24 years ago. Uh, they were just a park team that got together after they got disillusioned with watching Premier League football. They've had 12 promotions in 23 years. They're now in the National League and they're looking upwards. They want to go into the AFL. So I'm about to go into Mark's team talk slash uh, tactical analysis for this week's game against Altrincham. Um, he said that we're allowed to film whatever, we can see the tactics, he doesn't mind the other team seeing them whatsoever, but I've heard that his language is a little bit fruity, so this could be quite heavily bleeped. Um, see you in a bit. We're just quickly on the housekeeping, one minute to say for the, uh, uh, for the 17th, for the darts, yeah? If I find out, if I do find out that you are f Ikea with your missus uh, when we're at the f darts on our Christmas do, then one, you need to question your life, because that's the way it's going, and two, um, you'll probably get the sack. Is this is this live? Yes. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, yeah. So they can mix up how they play, but they prefer to play, they prefer to play out. They're not as good when they're direct, OK? They're attacking stats, they're decent, XG's decent. When it's static, remember, you'll do it here. Where's, what, what's happening when it's static? Left back push on. Also, Maka is going to literally do what he wants. So he will go in and get the ball at his own free will. We need to be more aggressive in that forward play. And sometimes that takes you telling your mate to get a shot off. You've got my blessing to put one over the bar. Because I'm telling you at the moment, I want to be more aggressive in the forward play. So what's the session going to look like today? Well, do, do you, you know do what? anything or do you just sort of stand with your arms folded looking stern? Sometimes I just take over because I just feel like sometimes you need to be near the players, like Sir Alex and people like that. that, that a lot of the top managers just don't let anyone near the players, really. Other times, I just sort of uh, keep the spirits high. Yeah, it's really impressive setup. Um, I mean, yeah, they're at football, but the setup's great. I'm just fascinated by this boy's hair. Is this, you, do, do I have yeah. your consent Spend to yeah, yeah, sniff no, your hair? Yeah, smell it's good, honest. It's going to get worse. Yeah. That is... I'm, I'm, that I've been known as the worst, that is but the best smelling one at the same time. <laughs> come on, come on. Did it. I'm that is it. insane. It's good, isn't it? Do people like mark you on purpose so they can have a sniff? Yeah, they literally do. They say you're terrible, but you smell great. <laughs> do you let the boys go for a drink? Yeah, massively, yeah. Yeah, encourage it, yeah. <laughs> just, um... <laughs> but it's just, you know, that's, uh... We, obviously, we come from the park league, so... All we've ever done is, is go out, really, so, yeah, we, we want to keep that culture. My thing's always the fear of, of it stopping or yeah. going backwards, so that really, I don't almost want to rest on my laurels and start thinking about... The past? Yeah. Oh, we've done well and this is great. We're only as good, literally, probably, as, as where we are today. This club has transformed our community, but do you know what? Like, I'm not just saying it because you know, like, but transformed a lot of the football fraternity because there's a lot of people across there. We get people from all over the country come and watch us. So if we go and play in Newcastle, we'll get 60 local people come just because they love what we've done. They really resonate with the sort of, like, park football mentality, keeping football real. Mm. So we will aim to keep it real on the EFL. Obviously, the higher you go, they more than want to strip you of normality, don't you? Don't they? Do you know what I mean? But yeah. that won't be us, which is why I get so many suspensions. You were going around the on the on the touchline with light up shoes. I'd like to see that. Or yeah, like them. What are they called? Like not rollerblades, but the ones. Heelys. Heelys. Could we have you in a Heely? I, I would do it if we if we if I knew we was going to win the league or something that day. Yeah. I'd wear Heelys and go up and down the touchline. I'd take a booking for Heelys. <laughs> go. You heard it here first. Turn around, take a Mark. Book of it. <laughs> Do you think Heelys. what do you think the what do you think the legislation on Heelys is in in the law book? Well, they've got some strange old laws, so you, see, you never quite know what's happening next. Yeah. 
had got 1,500 equality departments and next minute they say you can't wear blue denim. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it does get a bit confusing, to be fair, but... Yeah, Healy's, I mean... Can I? Can we shake on that if you get to prom promoted or play a final or something, you'll wear Healy's? In the, what I do in the last minute... In the last minute, Put your I'll, I'll on. literally do a lap of the pitch in your in heelys. Yeah. So we're going to do a penalty shootout. Um, tell him what you just said. No, just saying with Rutherford. So he's our striker, star striker. Uh, scores best part of 35 goals a year, but never takes a penalty because in his head, the ball's massive, the goal's small, and he can't <laughs> score them. So um, my feeling is, if he can't beat me and you, then he's not in the team or on the pens. Yeah, transfer listed. I go first just because I don't mind pressure. All right. If I go first, yeah, he hates pressure. All right. And I don't know. So, yeah? You know I'm going there in a foot. Yeah? That's it. That's a finish. Oh! Go oh, oh. yeah, as hard as he can. Oh! I'm going to curl it just there. Go on, son. Did you get that? We won that again. I predicted. That is insane. What? Did you get it? Such a save. Yeah, you're done now. Look at him. Look at him. He's he's looking all humble, but he knows that he's getting a big replay on Sky Sports this this weekend. Ow. Close. This is it. <laughs> well done, mate. Cheers, man. That was quality. I love that. So that ends my day at Dorking Wanderers FC. I have honestly had the best time. There's a lot of hype around this club, as there should be. They've got big YouTube presence, um, a very charismatic, outspoken manager, and it's worth the hype. I've had a lovely time. They treated me so well. I've met Steve, the physio, Rich, the camera guy. All the players have been absolutely delightful. I'd recommend you come down here and check it out. And um, Obviously, I'm on the penalty shoot as well, so I'm buzzing.